People compare numbers all the time. Whether it's comparing prices of the same item at different stores to see which store sells it cheaper, you want to know which one is less, you would figure it out and go to that store to purchase it. Or whether you're watching a basketball game, you need to know whose score is higher. So you're going to compare those numbers to find out who's winning or who's, who has won the game. Well, today I'm going to teach you how to compare numbers using place value. Most often when you see in math comparison problems, you will have one number on the left of a circle and one number on the right. And in that circle, you put a special symbol to, to represent either greater than, less than, or perhaps equal to. So let me divide those two numbers here. And I'm going to be building each number underneath it on each side so we can literally see which one has more cubes. I'm going to use base 10 blocks. Let's go. Starting with the numbers in the ones column. I have two over here, so I put in two blocks. I have eight over here, so I put in eight blocks over here. So right now, this number looks bigger, right? Because it has eight and this one has two. Well, let's keep going. The number 132 has three tens. The number 98 has nine tens. And once again, the number 98 is looking bigger. And I've even had some students tell me that they think this number is bigger because 9 and 8 are all bigger than 1, 3, and 2. And as you're going to see with this problem, that's not always the case. It's not the individual digits that we look at to see which is bigger. We need to look at the digits in certain places to compare them, which is bigger. And in this number, we're still not sure yet because we haven't shown the entire amount for 132. We do have all 98 over here. There's 9 tens and 8 ones, and we do have the 3 tens and the 2 ones, but we haven't shown the 100 yet. And some people might think, well, that's just one more of these 10 blocks, right? Mm, no, it's not. It's 10 of them. Remember our place value from before? There are 10 tens in 100, so let's see what that looks like. That's pretty significant, isn't it? There's 100 here. It's a very big block. It's made up of 10 of these. You could say it's 13 tens compared to 9 tens. In any, in any case, 132 is clearly greater than 98. And we would use this symbol to show greater than. And for students who get confused as to which symbol to use, I once had a teacher tell me a long time ago, and I remembered it even though I don't even remember the teacher, that if you think of this little symbol as an open mouth of a fish, and the two numbers represent pieces of fish food that it wants to eat. Well, we know that it wants to eat more. So the open mouth goes towards the number that is bigger. So here's my fish. Okay. And that shows that 132 is more than 98 because the fish is eating the bigger number. So 132 is greater than. If it's less than, it flips over to the other side and it would rather eat the amount over here, which I'll show you later. Now some of you are saying, wait a minute, that took a long time to find out that 132 is 98. I could tell a lot easier than that. And let me explain to those of you who didn't see it how they figured that out. I showed you all the blocks on this side, 132 of them, and all the blocks on this side, 98, so you could visually see the number, and yes, it is bigger. And we started with the 1s, and then we went to the 10s. And then we went finally to the hundreds. Well, if you go the opposite direction when you're not using place value blocks and not being required to build the numbers, it's going to be a lot faster in some cases. In fact, in this number, you can tell right away. There's a number in the hundreds column, the digit 1. There is not a number in the hundreds column here. So we know that this number is greater than this number without even dealing with the tens or the ones on either side. Make sense? Why? Because 1 is greater than 0. And to show you that visually, with the base 10 block, look, there's 100, there's 0. Pretty obvious which one's bigger. Now let me show you another way to compare numbers, still using place value. This time I'm going to use a place value chart to compare the numbers 472 compared to 481. I've got both numbers lined up on top of each other in their places, right? There's 400s in this number, there's 7 tens and there's two ones. 
there's four hundreds, there's eight tens, and there's one ones. Well, using the method I told you before, if you compare the number in the hundreds place first, oftentimes it can be faster. Well, in this case, it's not going to help us because four hundreds is the same as four hundreds. So let's try the tens place. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we see seven tens here, but only eight tens here, which shows us that 481 is greater than 472. Do we need to look at the ones place num digits? No, we don't. It doesn't matter what they are. So again, we checked the hundreds place first. They were identical, so we moved one place over, and now we could tell that 472 is less than 481, which looks like this. And where would Mr. Fish be if he wanted to eat? He would now be facing this direction, right? There he is, because he would rather have 481 compared to 472. It's not that much greater, but 481 is more than 472. Okay? Now let's look at some problems without the place value chart, because most times when you're asked to compare numbers, you're not going to have one available. Let's start with the first problem. 7,902 compared to 6,942. Well, let's start like we did before by comparing the digits in the thousands column. And guess what? 7 is greater than 6. Do we need to go any further? No, we don't. There it is. So let's draw that in. 7 is greater than 6, so 7,902 is greater than 6,942. How about the second problem? We have a digit in the 10,000s in both numbers. Well, 30,000 is the same as 30,000. Let's go to the 1,000 place. 2,000 is the same as 2,000. Let's go to the hundreds place. No hundreds in either number. Wow, so far this number is identical. And even though it has the same digits remaining, a 3 and a 0, it is not identical, right? Because we see over here on the left side, let me show you that, there it is, that this 3 is more than this 0, which means 32,030 is greater than 32,003. Okay, last one. Let me borrow these from up above. We have 6,000 and 6,000. We have 900 and 900. We have 10 and 10, and we have 2 and 2. Well, guess what? This number is equal. There is not one greater than the other. And that's going to look like this, or if I want to show you more clean, there are your correct symbols, okay? So we know that 7,902 is greater than 6,942. 32,030 is greater than 32,003. And 6,912 is equal to 6,912. Let's play at home. Three problems for you to work on. First one, 5,907 compared to 5,080. 3,986 compared to 3,987. 40,703 compared to 42,703. Look carefully at each of these. Start with the biggest digit. If you can see that it's the same, move to the next digit. If it's different, then you already know which one is bigger. Pause the video if you need more time. Here come your answers. 5,907 is greater than 5,080 because the 9 is greater than the 0 in the hundreds column. 3,986 is less than 3,987 only because the number in the ones column is 1 less than the number over here in the ones column. So it's not much smaller, but that fish would rather have that one extra piece, right? Yes. Finally, 40,703 is less than 42,703 because 0,000 is less than 2,000. That's all there is to it. In the next video, I will show you how to compare numbers using a number line.